All right, just wanted to show this handy uh, quick tip I've been using on the MS3 editor while I've been saving some presets uh, for a live performance. So you know on the editor itself, or sorry, the MS3 itself, when you go to save a preset, it's asking you for the target location and you, when you scroll through, it still gives you the name of the uh, preset uh, that's in that slot, so you don't accidentally write over something that you wanted to keep. In the editor, let me exit out of here real quick. In the editor, you don't get that, so let's say that I wanted to save this solo A and I updated it and now I wanted to save it as solo B. So we would name it solo B. And then when I go for the location, you're kind of in the blind because it doesn't give you the name. So what I've been doing to kind of help with that is over here on the left, and this doesn't update as you move this slot. So if I went up to like 50, this would stay the same. So what I have been doing is kind of generally where I'm planning to write this, I would keep this in view. So here I'm on 32-3. So there's 32, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So these four are that entire bank. And then, like, I've filled previous banks with other songs, so I'm only kind of going beyond from this point. So I would just keep the current bank kind of at the top of this list, and then kind of future spots where I would plan to plant my updated presets would be like down here. So now when I go to write this, I click write, and I still have this same, you know, and I would be naming this B, obviously. This is just for a demonstration purpose, but so now when I'm like, okay, where should I write that? I have a, a view over here of those locations and, and which ones are blank, which ones are already overwritten, so I'm not accidentally overwriting something I wanted to keep. Anyway, it's just a little handy. It seems very simple, I know, but it's we're here to help each other, right? I just thought I'd share that little tip that I've been doing. It's really handy. Maybe in a future update, I don't know. It'd be handy if this gave you, you know, a bigger window with like your patch names, just like the actual MS3 does itself. Anyway.